welcome. Hey, thank you guys for joining me for June's tarot readings for all the signs. This is just a general introduction to talk a little bit about how we are working for the month. So we're going to be using these three cards in front of you, three cards from each deck and then one Keeper of the Light card at the end of the reading as well. Now I have spent a bit of time with each independent sign working out some intuitive messages for you all and you will each be delivered that at the beginning of your reading as well. I have chosen to use two fairy decks this time in the month's reading. I don't know why, it feels as though there needs to be uh, a degree of warmth and positivity inspired into the readings. There does feel to be a little bit of tumultuous energies around from the messages that I have already pre-received and recorded for each of your individual signs. Greetings everyone and a warm welcome. Hey Scorpio, thank you for joining me. This is June's monthly reading for you guys for 2018. Now before I start shuffling the cards, I did get some messages for you intuitively, so I'll pass them across to you. Uh, one of the messages that came was don't be don't jump to conclusions in the month of June. Do a little bit of research, which I know you guys love doing, before you make some decisions. And don't put the blame on people too quickly because there may be more to a picture than meets the eye or more to a story than meets the eye. Also try a little bit of negotiation in any dealings that you're doing, both personal and in your career, because this may pay off and may be beneficial for you. Now I'm not sure why, but... Um, for some of you I got the feeling that Hawaii, literally the big island of Hawaii and the um, eruptions that are going on there could have a personal influence one way or another on some of you. And I also got boats and yellow, the colour yellow and blue. So let's see what's in store for you guys Scorpio for June 2018. There will be three of these cards, and then three from two other decks. This is for Scorpio. The Five of Wands, number 14, Balance, Major Arcana, and the Seven of Swords. The next deck is the Energy Oracle deck. For Scorpio. Wow, lovely. Cornucopia. The Thinking Woman. And the Temple Path. Blimey, these two here are very... Uh, auspicious cards, these two in particular, so really beautiful to have turn up in a reading. And these are the last cards coming for you Scorpio. Be yourself. Dietary change. And spring. So with all of those beautiful cards in there, let's see what the meanings and the messages are going to be as we go through them. We will start with the left hand column here. Even though we're not necessarily, I'm reading in columns, but the cards are very fluid and so are the messages and they can be sort of transposed throughout the reading at any point in time. So the Five of Wands says, opposing goals arising from different opinions. Feeling at odds with yourself or others and overly ambitious people around you. Now we talked a little bit briefly in the very beginning about the fact that you should caution yourself about jumping to conclusions in the month or put blame on others and see the perspective in uh, from different people's perspectives and negotiate situations. So the messages seem to be relaying themselves quite strongly through some of the cards in your reading such as the Five of Wands, the Balance card, the Be Yourself card and also even the um, change, the dietary change down here, all which are talking about balance and equilibrium. 
So with the Five of Wands, we can often find this can be representative of our lives in our career or creative mode or cycle. When we feel as though we've got projects that we're wanting to get up and running or we've initiated time and spent energy on them, but there's a block. It's like, whoa, where has the flow gone? You know, why can't I get this to the next position or the next jump and it's often because others are doing either the same thing or have a different opinion or they're putting their two cents worth in or there's just general juxtaposition of ideas and people and positions and opinions so it's about negotiation it's about navigating your way through but knowing that you do have worthy good ideas that are in place and just keep the continuity flowing and yeah negotiate navigate take the time to cool down and do some research exactly all the things that were said at the very beginning because underneath here you have cornucopia now the card is beautiful and it doesn't come out that often it is kind of saying the universe will deliver to you the magic and the dreams of inspiration it will help you to get there it's often referring to a time that's coming for you if you are able to see it and visualize it and feel it and work your way into the space that magic will happen it's a little bit like the magician card in many ways but it's almost a bit better because it says we're going to give it to you but like anything don't look a gift horse in the mouth be prepared to find opportunities where you least expect them and that is often how things like the energy of cornucopia or success or manifestation actually take place it's sometimes the most unlikely place that we're looking that we get the inspiration or the powerhouse steps that propel us or take us into the next you know jump up in life this one down here that says be yourself it says and I'll just move this back a little bit further so you can see it um, sorry about that and I'll try and this situation calls for you to be your authentic self which is the basis for your personal power uh, I get the feeling of that especially up here with be yourself is sort of going up to balance and the seven of winter up here as well and also the five of spring so it's about if there are people around you that are creating blockages or causing problems or being dishonest you have to stand up for your rights and you have to keep going forward with your ideas or projects it's about how you do it and I think I've gone on about that enough I think you've caught the message but there's certainly a lot of it coming through for you in June so definitely using your intelligence as opposed to too much emotion in this month will get you further afield um, the balance card which is your major arcana is the um, temperance card so this is again about being in balance and in many different perspectives of your life on the this particular card with that beautiful line there it says take everyone's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution take your time there's no need to rush so yeah you're getting this message very very clearly for some of you this is going to be the message that makes or breaks a deal now it could be a romantic deal it could be a partnership deal it could be a business deal or a career deal or even a health deal whatever it is they're asking you to consider all different perspectives negotiate situations take your time think it through logically apply intellect and then move forward to find things like this the cornucopia the temple path the balance card also represents the need for balance in our life with regards emotions in particular also our physical health so things like uh, your hormones all in balance um, sometimes when we're stressed a little bit we can get our hormones out of balance which can in turn create more indecisive anxiety in our life and uh, less ability to make quick accurate decisions also things like sleeping well eating well this can be a time to drop off any addictions like cigarettes or alcohol or drugs whether they're prescribed or non-prescribed drugs 
uh, you know, dieting is an addiction. Some people diet too much and push themselves to be underweight and unhealthy. There's going to the gym too often. You know, there's obsessions about other people in your life. So this is a time to bring balance in and really achieve an equilibrium that promotes positivity as you move forward. This one down here, the thinking woman, could be a person that is in your life that could be coming in as a new romantic partner for some of you, or she could be someone who is a possible business liaison person, either a new career that you might be moving into, she could potentially be a new employer, or she could be a new employee if you own your own business. She works for you without doubt, she's on your side, and she has some ideas to help get you through to the next stage. So again, take other people's opinions into consideration and that's what the card up here says and she has got something that you could listen to and gain great insight from. She could already be a friend or ally to you and she might be someone who you already trust with great depth, you know, your personal bits and pieces in your life. So she might be someone that you go to a lot like a mentor or a family friend or even a family member or your current partner. But it feels as though she's very supportive and she has some really pertinent interesting information for you. We've talked a little bit here about the dietary change because we talked about it up here a little bit. So again duplicity of messages and when you get that in a reading they're really really well worth taking point of and addressing one way or another. We'll go up to the top right hand card. I'll just see if I can focus it a bit more. This is the Seven of Swords and it said there is a better choice. Not seeing things clearly and running away from the truth. So the Seven of Swords is a card I don't particularly like and I often see it turn up in readings when there is global um, where there are things like mass hacking globally. I've often found this card can turn up where there are more than one person involved in deceitful actions going on. So I often say to people, be very careful of your intellectual intelligence, of your bank accounts, of your passports, of anything that can give other people a way of creating fraudulent activities. Now this could even be some people in or around your life could be doing something deceitful or causing problems. So be careful who you bring into your life at this point in time. You know, do some due diligence on them and make careful considerations about whether they're wholesome or right for you because there are some untrustworthy people around when this card turns up. Even though the picture on that card is far more pleasing than the original Rider Waite tarot deck. It also does suggest, as she says here, that you could be running away from the truth. And I think that comes back to the whole balance card and to the be yourself over here and the five of wands. It talks about sometimes we have to face things and make adjustments and changes that we don't necessarily like. But it would be better if we made those changes one way or another, even if it was slowly or even if we adapted some of them. And that can sometimes bring about a better solution or resolution to situations so that might be something to think about and ponder upon as well and then we come down here to the temple path if you notice that number is 11 cornucopia and this one is 12 the card directly after it the temple path so these two represent this amazing flow of the universe of this uh, awareness of connectivity of manifestation the Temple Path is about being awakened spiritually to something, an awareness, like a state of euphoria or bliss. Very similar to Cornucopia, although that one can be more about the physical manifestation of life. This can be more about the spiritual acclaim and assertion and uh, ascension and movement and travel and bliss and euphoria. It's a time of great awareness, of awakening, of understanding. You know, I could go on and on about the card, but you'll either feel it or you won't. It'll be like like a bolt of electricity surging through your body from your ground, from your feet from the ground up through your head and out into the collective conscious energies of the universe. And if you receive that type of energy, you get this amazing connection to euphoria. So for some of you, that could be coming in June, and it could create 
a wider capacity for creativity in your life and for the manifesting of abundance. Now down here you've got spring which is a timing card and it says your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. So you know spring for the northern hemisphere is right now and June sort of is your first month of summer so for some of you this could be something that occurs now almost like a bolt of lightning with this temple path awakening and awareness you know maybe you decide to stop running from something in your life that you've been afraid of such as a spiritual awakening or a connection to something and you suddenly align with it and kapow it's like the heavens open and you're you've You've got this amazing awareness and insight. So there's a possibility it could be very quick. However, it could be, um, for, for us in the Southern Hemisphere, it could be later in the year, in spring. And it, for you in the Northern Hemisphere, it could be next spring. So this could be a message about a journey that is evolving over time. And it is beginning now and it will capitulate in strength and awareness and awakening and opening as the months go by. So wow you guys, wow, what a powerhouse reading. I think that's really cool for you Scorpios because I know sometimes it has been a little bit kind of gloomy for some of you over the last few years. You've had some, you know, you feel the intensity of these planetary alignments with great depth and passion and it affects you guys quite deeply so to have some really beautiful positive insight energy coming I think that's nice and connective for you so let's put these ones away and see what your last card is going to be for the um, the light healing energy cards so this is for Scorpio for June lovely beautiful warm gentle spiritual you can't ask for much more than love and peace so that's mother mary and it says let go of the need to be right choose peace mother healing is possible at this time oh wow that is such a beautiful message for you guys and it's very soft and soothing it's very kind of ethereal colors with this pale um, there's a bit of pale pink in there and very very pale gentle blue and the white background so there is nothing better than to choose love and peace in life and it is profoundly what we are here to find although it is seemingly quite difficult but for some of you there could be a message here about finding happiness or healing with a mother figure in your life so this could be your own mother a mother-in-law a grandmother uh, a person who has been like a mother to you or it could even be yourself as a mother and with a healing with children around you so what a beautiful way to end a very special light filled positive reading for you guys I hope that you have really enjoyed this and that you are filled with the energies of love and peace for the month of June as we move forward with the year Thank you for subbing and leaving your comments. I love to read them all and I wish for you a wonderful month. Take care everyone. Much love. Namaste.